with a fastest lap at 84.2 miles an hour he comes from Sweden and alongside him his countryman Kurt Goranson they are both in Volvos and Goranson went round in his fastest lap at 83.55 miles an hour so very very little in it now further back down the grid there is another Volvo but with a very different driver it is the lady driver Pauline Stewart this is her only her second race in this vehicle the first one was earlier today she's made a great reputation for herself after only two years of competition and uh, she's got a vehicle that could do extremely well today now there on the left in the white Ford cargo is none other than Mike Smith yes the Mike Smith of disc jockey and every other kind of fame and on the right in the red truck is Andy Dawson He's in a scammel, and in the cab with him, he has a camera, and he can talk to me, and I can talk to him. Off you go on the parade lap, Andy. Is all well at the moment? Yes, no problem, except for Mike Smith's dirty smoke in front of me. Well, we can't have everything, so on now the parade lap, 24 trucks, and it really is a question, I think, of which of the Swedes is going to do best, but... On the right, just in the truck you see there, the yellow and black cab, is Hans-Georg von der Marwitz, who finished second in the B-Class race. And the B-Class race is for trucks with engines of up to 14,100cc capacity. He is in a Mercedes-Benz, it is very quick, and he could definitely offer a threat to the two big Volvos in front of him. Tremendous power these trucks produce almost a thousand horsepower the big Volvos and Mercedes behind them so in the front rank uh, two uh, two Volvo trucks and then behind them the two Mercedes trucks one of them sorry not a Mercedes but the man von der Marwitz is in a man a similar German truck and there's Andy Dawson, you can see his truck. Andy, round chapel. Is the adrenaline building up? Yes, it is, Murray. I'm actually feeling quite nervous at the moment. It's unusual for me to feel nervous, but uh, all that horsepower in front and all that horsepower behind me, it's a little bit of a worry. Well, we're looking forward to five laps of action. I'm sure we're going to have it. We're coming down to the right-hander at Stowe now, which in racing conditions is taken at about 75 miles an hour. Now, believe it or believe it not, those of you who do not think of trucks as being very rapid, with something like a 1,000 horsepower, and these, these tractors, which is the correct description for them, are used to pulling trailers with about 30 tonnes of merchandise. So, when you take the trailer away, you have a superb power-to-weight ratio. They have tyres which are buffed buff down. Plenty of grip for you, Andy, today, or not? Yes, it's much drier than it was in the previous race here, Murray. It's nice, dry track, nice and clean, no problems. Well, that's good to hear. Now, here are the two Volvos. Andrew Frankel, you're very much the expert. A quick forecast. Quick forecast, slim from Goranson with a little bit of aggro behind them because those two gentlemen are a bit notorious. They tend to bang and hit each other, so let us hope they won't do it this time. Indeed, after we saw what happened to George Allen and Richard Walker earlier on. That's the pace truck with the lights flashing over the cab. They do not go into the new complex at Woodcote, which they're approaching now, the left and right that you will have seen in the Formula One Grand Prix. Instead, they take the old route round Woodcote, ignoring the complex, into the chicane, which the pace truck is approaching now. The pace truck will peel off into the pit lane, and then both Goranson and Morgan will put their foot down, as will everybody else, because the grandstand trophy is go as they cross the line. Morgan has the advantage as they go down towards Cox. Goranson on the outside of the cream and black Volvo. Denhart in the lime green cab is coming up. No, Denhart there, really swinging it wide, and it looked to me as though he's spinning off as Parrish goes through, as Hodge goes through. But Denhart managed to catch it just at the very last moment. Heinz Denhart, he caught it. Now they're away around the left-hander and Maggots, Maggots on towards Beckett's. 
and Goranson is challenging. He's right up to the rear wheel of Four Goods Volvo. Now, this is where they're round the, one of the slowest corners on the circuit. Third gear, make it about 60 miles an hour. There's a big spin off there in the background. Oh, dear me. And, and that's one of the four cargos that's gone off. It's breaking us onto the left. It's Mike Smith who's gone off and one of the Liège, one of the uh, Czechoslovakian trucks. There it is. Mike Smith has gone off, but coming towards us now, Borgood leads, Goranson in second place, Den Haag, number 12. Now, let's see what Andy Dawson saw. Mercedes, Levitt in the Scania, Marvitz in the Mercedes, and Willie Green, number 24, in the white Ford Core cargo in the middle of this bunch coming towards us now. Willie Green, XERF driver, he has gone to one of the Rod Chapman cargos. He did very well, he won his class earlier on in the A and C class combined race, and he's going very quickly indeed. Look at him, 700 horsepower there under his foot. Now, can you hear me, Andy Dawson? I see windscreen wipers going. Is it raining? It's raining, and that's going to make it pass. Yes, it's going to pass. 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 Going to you can see now in front of him, 64 is Chris Tucker in the Leyland Road train. That's what Andy Dawson sees as he comes up to the bridge. I wonder if I can get down the inside of him here, Murray. I'm going to have a go. My brakes have been locking up a little bit, but right, I'm down the inside of him. I don't think he's going to come in on me. Don't you come in, Chris. Don't you come in. Oh, he's coming in. Up oh, over the curb. Never mind. Well Throw done, Andy. Up. Well done, Andy. You held it magnificently. And we can see the steam boiling off your water-cooled brakes as the water hit them. Now we're on lap three, and it's Slim Borgut leading in the Volvo. Up into second place goes Heinz Denhardt in the Mercedes-Benz. In third position, it's Andrew Levitt in the Scania. In, in fourth position, behind Levitt, is Van der Marwitz in the Mercedes. And there they go. There's Van der Marwitz, and he's challenging Levitt. So the Scania in third position, that's the German journalist on the right in the black and yellow cab Mercedes. Van der Marwitz, and into the pits. We have a runner into the pits. Kurt Goranson has gone into the pits. He's just trickling in now. His race is run. It's a five lap race, five laps of this three mile circuit, 2.39 to 2.93 miles to be exact. But there is the excitement on the circuit. 
with one of the hot favourites, Kurt Goranson, out of the race. Slim Morgan is leading, and I, I can hear all sorts of excitement going on in Andy Dawson's camp, but... He's side by side, Murray. I've got down the inside of him. There's no way he's going to come in at me now. Well, I right, dare I slide out? Yes, I dare. He's tucked in behind me. Good for you, Chris. Has Quinn. Nice drive. Oh, Quinn, nice driving. I lost the second coming out, but I don't think you'll get at me before we get to club. Coming up to the end of the third lap, and I can see with his headlights blazing coming towards me as you look at Andy Dawson, and you can see Chris Tucker is on his tail and going through together. Tucker and Dawson going through together. Dawson holds the line and keeps in front. And behind Dawson, just right up behind him, is Brian Garnett as across the line goes Slim Borgood to complete start his fourth lap. Now the gap between Slim Borgood in the lead and Heights Denhart in second place with a terrific battle for third position is 4.5 seconds. So there is Morgan leading. There is the Mercedes of Denhart. And going through, number 66 is Van der Marvix, the German. So we have German second and third. And Levitt has gone down into fourth position. Andrew Levitt in the Scania. And this is a good scrap. Now, the gap between the leader, Slim Morgan, who has just come out of the left-hander and maggots, and Andrew Levitt in fourth position, is only five seconds. Second, third, and fourth. That's Van der Marwitz. There is Levitt. And the gap between the leader and Andrew Levitt is only five seconds. And they're coming into the pits now. Coming to the pits is Janos Krasnay, the Mercedes-Benz driver who's come all the way from Hungary. That is him. He's going into the pits. His race is completed. Lap four. Andy, I hear you talking. But he's sliding wide, so am I. Oh, I nearly hit him there, Murray. Just kept away from him. Can I stay with him down the straight now? He dived down the inside of me there under braking. And got through here, but I've got the speed on him now. Can I, who's going to hit the governor first? I think I am. I'm right alongside him, smiling at him, he's even winking at me. Shows we've got a bit of confidence in each other. I've got the line now for Stowe, so he's not going to be able to come back at me. I'll go right down the gear, I think, this time. Just yeah. to make sure I get away clean, because I've got a Ford cargo behind me. It's got number four, yeah. it's Smithy. The cargo behind you is Mike Smith, and right. he's attacking, Andy. He's going to come through on your right. Oh, I just missed him coming. I was so interested in watching Chris Tucker. Now, that's what, what you I get to do here. I'll try and chuck him behind him and, and sh out shoot him up the hill. Well, oh. Mike Smith. <laughs> Off go Andy Dawson. Mike Smith is running. And I see flames coming from underneath. Andy, are you all right there? I'm all right. I got a hell of a thump from the back. God alone knows who hit me. But somebody hit me. Well, we leave it to me, Andy. We'll keep it going. Meantime, they're rushing through. They are on the last lap. Slim Borgood is leading on the fifth and last lap, and there he is, the European champion, where you saw a flash of Den Hart's cab as we stayed with Slim Borgood. You'll see the Mercedes-Benz in a moment. It's getting quite close now. There is Borgood, not so close as I thought it was, actually. No. So, now, in second position, Heinz Den Hart in the three-axle twin turbo V10 Mercedes-Benz engine vehicle. There he is, the Mercedes-Benz of Heinz Denhardt. In for third position, Hans-George von der Marwitz in the man. So it's a Volvo leading, a Mercedes second, a man in third position. In fourth place, the Scania of Andrew Levitt. These are the top four coming down the hangar straight for the fifth and last time. It looks as though Slim Borgwood, the European champion, is going to do the double. There goes Den Hart. So, out of Stowe, into Club Corner, Slim Borgwood has undoubtedly got it made. He's not going to make a mistake with his racing experience. The Volvo is going well. Goes across the rumble strip at Club, up towards Abbey. The action is behind him between Den Hart and Von der Marwitz, two Mercedes-Benz drivers with Andrew Lev. No, the man, I keep on forgetting my apologies, that Van der Marwitz is in a man, and he is the third driver at the present moment, but it's certainly going to be victory for a Volvo. No doubt about that. The chicken flag is ready. And look at the, look at the battle for second place. 
it behind, behind Slim Borgwood. Look at this, it's terrific through the chicane. Den Hart has just got the second place from the man of Van der Marwitz. And in third position, you will now see the Scania of Andrew Levitt. And back to the chicane, it's all action behind. As they come through in fifth position, it's Willie Green in fifth position. And bouncing, boring behind him is Bell Baker taking that sixth position from just a whisker in seventh place. Very close indeed, Thomas Heckman's Mercedes-Benz. Right, well, now the winner is home, the first six are home, but let's hear again how Andy Dawson coped with that spin incident of his. Tuck in behind him and out shook him up the hill. Oh! I'm all right, I got a hell of a thump from the back. God alone knows who hit me, but somebody hit me. Well, that is truck racing for you. It surely is exciting. And Slim Borgen drives home on his victory lap. Victory for Slim Borgen, who has lapped here at Silverstone at just a whisker under 85 miles an hour in a truck whose governed maximum speed is 100 miles an hour. An absolutely superb performance, but no less than we would expect from the man who is, after all, the European champion. And then in second place behind him was Den Hart in the Mercedes-Benz, that is Heinz Den Hart in the three-axle Mercedes. And in third position, uh, in, in third place behind the Mercedes was Hans Georg Marwitz. Fourth, the British driver Andy Levitt. Sixth, fifth was Willie Green. And in sixth position, Mel Baker.